We meditate so that we can see things close up. The word dhamma, which means teaching or truth, can also mean action. And your mind is in action all the time. Like right now, it's got acts of attention. You're paying attention either to the talk or to your breath. Intention, the intention to stay here. Perception, all kinds of things are happening. And you want to be able to see these things clearly. Because if we put them together in an unskillful way, they're going to cause suffering. If we put them together in a skillful way, then they can become part of the path. But you have to see them clearly. That means getting your focal point very, very close. We focus on the breath because of all the things in the world, it's the closest to the mind and most responsive to the mind. When the mind acts, ripples go into the breath. And of course, the way you breathe is going to have an impact on the mind. So you want to see this interface right here very clearly. To keep your focus here is one of the reasons why the Buddha says part of mindfulness is putting aside greed and distress with reference to the world. Because as soon as you start thinking about the world, it's something out there. And its values and its standards get imposed. Whereas when we focus on the breath right here, right now, in and of itself, we're trying to get out of those standards, out of those values, to see what we really got right here and what's really going on. So this is our framework, right here, right now. Because what the mind is doing is shaping things right here, right now. We're not just hanging out in the present to accept it or to be okay in the present moment. Some people say as long as you're in the present moment without thinking, then there's no suffering. That's not true. The suffering just gets covered up. And the potential for a lot of suffering doesn't get dealt with. You've got to dig down inside to see what the mind is doing. And you realize that a lot of things are going on right here. Some people say they're getting bored with their meditation. It's because they're not really looking. Either that or they're not asking the right questions. So if nothing seems to be happening in your meditation, change your questions. Think of what kind of questions the Buddha would ask. What am I doing? What are the results? Am I satisfied with the results? If I'm not, what can I change in what I'm doing? That's how he found awakening. And that's how each of us will find awakening, too. We don't just follow orders. We've got to question things. But we've got to keep the focus right here. If the questions get too abstract, they pull us away and they turn into the world again. So keep your focus as close as possible. And try to be very sensitive to what you're doing. That's when things will open up. <laughs>